All right, let's begin our coverage now of Election Day 2022 as the polls are now open. Yeah, midterm elections being watched all across the country. The balance of power, obviously, we're watching that in Washington. Democrats, Republicans battling for control of Congress. One of the races that has a lot of national attention right here in southern New England. Former Cranston Mayor Alan Fung looking to become the first Rhode Island Republican elected to the House of Representatives this century. He's been leading slightly over Democrat Seth Magaziner in recent polls. Democrats expected to keep the state's other seats with Congressman David Cicilline taking on Republican challenger Alan Waters. And another big race that we're watching, of course, Governor of Rhode Island Dan McKee looking for a full four-year term. Democrat facing four challengers, Republican Ashley Kalis, Libertarian candidate Elijah Gizzarelli, Independence Paul Rihanna Jr., and Zachary Hurwitz. 12 News reporter Kate Walsh kicks off our live team coverage right now. She is in Cranston. Yeah, and we caught up with both secretaries of state in Massachusetts and Rhode Island leading up to today, Election Day. And in Rhode Island, Nellie Gorbea said that she's really proud that she was secretary of state when early voting and mail-in ballots uh, became popular options before Election Day. And she said she's seen a big turnout here. But in Massachusetts, Secretary of State Bill Galvin said he doesn't think that all of the early voting uh, really is going to make a difference with turnout in the Commonwealth. Best estimates have suggested to us there is not an awful lot of enthusiasm, particularly relating to the statewide contests. There seems to be almost an anticlimactic attitude towards this election. And indeed, voters are far more concerned about the ballot questions. And that's even with the race for governor in Massachusetts. He said of the 1.1 million ballots sent out by a request for mail-in voting, only 776,000 have been filled out and sent back. He predicts about 2.2 million votes total, which would reportedly be the lowest turnout in years. In Rhode Island, Gorbea is updating the public daily with early numbers and was impressed with the turnout. We just checked this morning. It's about 12 percent of voter turnout so far. A national elections official toured voting voting centers in Rhode Island with her to ensure voter security. Anybody who has any kind of concerns about the integrity of the election or is feeling threatened should feel free to call my office 222-2340 or the Rhode Island Attorney General's office. Now, if you remember, right before the primary, there was an issue with the electronic voting machines that are used by people who have differing abilities. The ones that were Spanish-speaking ballots were uploaded with the wrong candidates, and there was a back and forth between the Secretary of State's office and the Board of Elections as to what went wrong. Well, Gorbea said they've changed a lot with that, and they believe they won't have any issues today. Live in Cranston, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.